Hey guys, David from DJ Productions. I know a long time, no video, um, but there's a reason behind that. And um, one of those reasons is school, but I'm not going to get into that because I know I say that a lot. But I kid you not, I swear that within the next couple of weeks, more videos will be coming because school is almost over for me. And I am so excited for summer vacation because summer 2012 is going to be freaking amazing. Senior year is going to be depressing, but it's, it's going to be amazing. I, I'm so excited. But this video isn't about that. Uh, I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. Um, we're doing AP tests now, and so we barely have any homework and my hair looks like trash. Anyways... Um, so I decided uh, that I'm going to share uh, my candy collection with you guys, um, and if you guys don't know what candy is, it's basically those raver bracelets, the raver cuffs and stuff, you know, the ones that are made out of beads and the, um, the pony beads and whatnot. I'll show you right now. But here is a collection. Uh, it's not my entire collection because my cousin does have some of the things I've made that I've given to her, um, but uh, I'll try to show all that I have right now. So, uh, I think we can start with the basics. If I can find um, my singles. Uh, so here are two of my singles. Uh, this one, my friend Melody made because she's freaking awesome. Don't mind what it says. Trust me, it's an inside joke between me and her. But um, that's hers. And then here's one I made. I made uh, 12 other ones uh, for my campaign when I ran for ASB president for school for next year. I didn't win, boohoo. Um, but whatever, life, life goes on and I will go on as well. Um, the next things, cuffs. Cuffs are these more advanced ones. Um, this one isn't mine, but here's an example of a, a candy cuff and it's basically just beads and it goes on like so. These are hecka cool. I always bring these around to school and people are always like, where'd you get them? Or who made that for you? How much did it cost? Blah, blah, blah. And yes, I do make all the ones I wear. Well, I make a majority of the ones I wear. Sometimes my cousin makes some, sometimes I have friends that make some. But mostly it's me. So uh, since I'm having this one in my hand, uh, here is my Judas Cross, I guess I'll call it that. Um, I made this for my Madonna project. Uh, and I thought it'd be fitting because it's Madonna and you know how she does her, her whole thing. Uh, here is my uh, DJ Boy Candy. Um, why did I make this? Oh, this is when I was really starting to get into the bigger cuffs when I actually started getting more advanced and I wanted to work with letters. Um, trust me, I didn't realize how big this was going to be until I actually made it and like it slides all the way up my arm. That's why I like it, because it's like all the way up my arm. But it, some of these are, are a pain in the butt to get off. Okay, so here is my Pokemon Rainbow Badge cuff. Pretty cool. Um, the elastic is really thin. Some of these I don't like to wear too often, because I'm, I, I get afraid that they're going to snap. Um, and I don't want them to break, especially at school or whatnot. Because uh, not only is that embarrassing, it's just it's a pain in the butt to try to pick all of it. So... Yeah, uh, here is my EDC um, cuff. Uh, a lot of people love this one because of the colors, and yes, it does see EDC. Can you see it? Yeah, I love this one. It's a somewhat custom-made design. Um, I got one design, and I messed with it. So here is my Avicii. I love Avicii. Avicii is freaking awesome. Love his music. Uh, and this is my first uh, Coyote Stitch one. I guess you can say. Uh, if you don't, if you don't understand. This is a multi-stitch, this is a peyote stitch, and uh, these look cleaner, but uh, again, you can mess with these more, so. Yep, there's that. Here's my first ever candy cuff. It was supposed to be a jaguar print, a rainbow jaguar print, but it totally failed because I didn't know how to start, I didn't know how to um, begin with these, but, uh, you know, I tried, and I still love it. People keep telling me to uh, redo it or whatnot, but it's like, oh, it's my first one. Why? Why do that? Uh, here's my second cuff ever. And yes, it's the Dead Mouse Rainbow Cuff. Uh, I like it. A lot of people like it. A lot of people love Dead Mouse. Uh, I love Dead Mouse. Uh, before he went mainstream. Here is a more simpler cuff that I did. Um, just a rainbow. Uh, again, when I first first starting out, I was just trying out basic designs, uh, basic patterns, just to see. Uh, get the get the hang of it and then uh, again coming up with really crazy stuff kind of like this this is an updated jaguar print one this is when i got more colors to mess with so now they're the middle 
is actually uh, whoa, this way down is actually um, different and this one is a mix between uh, a rainbow drip and the cheetah print close these uh, what else do I have? what else do I have? Oh, okay so this one a lot of people freaking love uh, gotta represent uh, Filipino flag Yes, I'm Filipino. I'm also Mexican. I'm working on my Mexican one, but I don't. I can't find any browns. You know how hard it is to find find brown beads nowadays. It's ridiculous. So I need to find a brown and I'll make a Mexican cuff, uh, Mexican flag cuff. That's the Filipino flag, by the way. Um, is this the last cuff that I have? It's the last, yeah. So here is my dreamer cuff. Um, I saw this online. I actually decided to make it a smaller cuff. Uh, the original design is way bigger, so I just like it because it's. This is a dreamer, and I am a dreamer, so it works. So here is my first ever 3D cuff. I love this freaking thing. It's freaking insane. It could go bigger, but I love it. So colorful. So people love this one. Awesome. Okay, and then here is another specialty cuff. This is my Pac-Man cuff, uh, Pac-Man ghost cuff, and yes, it does glow in the dark. These are glow in the dark beads. Same with my Avicii one. Um, those glow in the dark. <sighs> what else do I have? Okay, so I created necklaces, uh, Perry Stitch necklaces. Oh, can't forget about this little guy. My ring. <laughs> it's kind of like a cuff. It's just smaller. Okay, so here is my. Uh, I call this one Mickey Mouse because it's happy enough to be Mickey Mouse, but uh, it's still a dead mouse shape. Cute, huh? So. Uh, stitch necklaces. So this is the first one I've ever done. Um, this is a custom design uh, based off. It's based off this, but it is a custom design, and uh, it is made with fishing wire, not elastic. So there's that one. And then I started doing more. Another one is my block K uh, for my school. Um, it's to you know like the the what is it? I can't even think of the varsity letters that they put on their letterman jackets uh, re replicated it and wore jaguar so I put jaguar print on it and our school colors are orange and blue go Florida Gators kidding no no we're the jaguars jags forever and so okay so my last one that I made so far is my dreamer uh, necklace it is the same dreamer from this one these look heck cool by the way these are awesome. If you guys can make these, you guys will be the coolest kids in school. I kid you not. Uh, and then I made a candy bandana. Yo, uh, it's just messing around. I made a I made a candy mask, also the surgeon mask. Um, my cousin has that one. I also made a candy bikini. Um, my cousin, other cousin has that one, uh, and I helped her with her other one. Um, yeah uh, and then i started getting more advanced well no i did these before i did any of the peyote stitch ones uh i did 3d necklaces um a dead mouse 3d head and then a master ball those are really cool to do these were pain in the butt but they were cool to do um they're cool it's, it's, what i don't get is why people keep touching them like Honestly, like people don't understand how f how the string does stretch, and if it it will snap. So if they keep pulling on it, yes, it will break. Like, why do people chest that? Okay. Anyways, my last one that I have with me is my backpack, my candy backpack, my Yoshi. Freaking amazing! Like, and no one can really steal it because it, my name is on it, kind of. You know, just putting that out there. And yes, it's, it is a functioning backpack. Like, stuff can be in here. Up to, like, 20, 30 pounds can put, be put, put in here. Which is more than needed in your average backpack. Unless you're putting all your textbook in. And then, I, I'm instantly thinking, why the heck are you putting all your textbooks in your backpack? But whatever, people are crazy. So, yeah. That is my candy collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, I only did this because I was really, really bored. And, uh, see, it's a real backpack. Freaking awesome! I love this bag. It took me forever. It took me two weeks. People always ask me if you guys are wondering. Um, I do make these. You can you can buy them from me. Like I don't advertise it as much as I used to, just for the fact that 
a lot of people just buy them and then don't wear them whatsoever. So it's like, mm, I could be making them for myself. So I know a lot of you ravers are going to be like, shame on you for selling them. People should make them and trade them, blah, 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 whatever. It makes me money. And in this economy, I'll do anything. No, I won't, but you know what I mean. So, uh, no, but people, if you're wondering how much a backpack would cost, depending on how big it is on the, the design, uh, I think the basis I charge between one and 150. For this one, it would be 150. Why? Because the design is heck of complicated. I tripled, I double tripled the string up. Um, it's insane. Like, you guys don't understand how much time and effort goes into making these things. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting all my candy off my desk and putting them on the side on my little counter that has all my candy. And there's a lot. There's a lot of beads. A lot of freaking beads. So. Yeah, I think with just this backpack, it's over 2,000 beads. No, over 4,000, I think. It's a lot of freaking beads. A lot of red. But, yeah. So, there's uh, my candy collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that um, little video. If you have any questions about um, candy... Um, how to make it. Um, there are tutorials online all over it's all over YouTube. My hair looks like trash. I need to cut it. Uh, there are tutorials all over if you're wondering how to make them. Tutorial, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna teach you just for the fact that I don't feel like putting in the effort to make a tutorial video showing you how to string beads together because I find that kind of pointless, especially when lots of other people have tutorials online on YouTube showing you how to do it. Uh, really good, there are really good tutorials out there that will show you how to make candy cuffs, how to make singles, how to do um, uh, these basic stitches. You can always make ties, you can make bikinis, you can make belts, you can make a lot of different things. Like I know I made my handful of crazy little things with um, beads and fishing wire. But yeah, there's a lot you can do. And I hope you enjoyed what I have so far. Um, yeah, I will make more over the summer. Maybe I will do one tutorial on how to do the basic cuff, but that's about it. So, thank you for DJ Productions. Uh, follow me on Tumblr or Twitter. Um, don't add me on Facebook, because then that's really creepy. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, more videos will be posted uh, sooner or later. Um, so, yeah. No, okay. So I learned that this is the international uh, sign of peace, or sign of love, I think. So, love you.